What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're doing a 2023 Bowman Chrome Mega Dual Case Break number four. And again, guys, we just needed to sell three more teams. So we took out four of them, the White Sox, Rockies, Astros, Royals, and uh, we were giving them away. So these three customers here, Nancy, Stephen Carney, and Stephen Kendrick, bought the teams. So in this order here, one, two, three is going to go to the uh, guys that bought in. And number four is going to go back to number one. So let's quickly do that. Let's roll the dice. Two and a two, four times. One, two, three, and four. And boom. So Nancy at the top. Um, Nancy's going to get the Astros. So I'm going to put your name in here. As a added bonus. And then um, Stephen Kendrick. Is gonna get the Rockies. So let's paste your name in here. Added bonus. And then Ancarney, Steven, is gonna get the Royals. And then, as an added bonus, Nancy, you're gonna get the White Sox as well. And then that officially sells it out. Awesome possum. All right, now let me actually. Oh, what happened to my break schedule? Oh, okay. I forgot to title the damn sheet. All right. All right, so we got Christopher here helping us. Yep. So he's gonna be ripping the majority of the boxes. I'll pass on a couple here so I can start ripping them. Then you can see to this area right here. And these are pretty quick, so I should rip a couple. Okay. These those are for you. Good. Oh yeah, you can start ripping them. You can just like start cracking these guys. Yeah, yeah, just crack them open. I usually like to, um, since they're mega boxes, leave the two uh, mega packs to the end and just rip open just the base packs. So we go through those first because there's really, really nothing in them. So just open them and then if anything, just put these two to the side and then I'll rip those later and we'll put them all together basically. I'll rip these ones here, guys, and then we'll have some more over there. Want me to crack this box up? Yeah, you can rip all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. start ripping all of those. Cool. Just put the packs together for you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, well, you can rip the packs, too. So basically, yeah, just rip all the packs minus the mega packs, basically. These ones basically only just have base cards. Yeah, Eric, we're doing the Bowman Mega Dual Case Spray. All right, and I did see two cases back there. I just got to make sure that uh, we can sell it unless we have something else uh, planned with it. So I won't post any until I get confirmation. Last thing I want is over, so. But there is other breaks we can do today, guys. Remember, I want to do that Gilded. I can do those little uh, pack giveaways if you guys want to buy spots in Gilded. It is down to six. All right. So again, I'm going to rip just the packs here, guys. I mean, I think for most people that have been buying in with us, unfortunately, they only just put base cards and base rookies, no first or anything like that. So kind of boring. <laughs> Let's go through it really quick and a lot of couple of the bigger rookies like Corbin Carroll Volpe and those guys and then we'll continue on with the mega packs now the mega packs of course in most like 20 box cases we've been doing we get like four to six autos in a in a case so and then at least every other box has a numbered card so that's where more of the fun's at Open. 
So how was it breaking over there? Did you like it? It's fun. I know, right? It's, it's, to it's a little nerve wracking, right? A lot of uh, uh, rare ones that are. Here. Oh yeah, the big kahunas, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's probably about like 50 of them. Oh yeah, dude. I seen some of those actually. I seen it like on release day. Someone did that, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we added these like rare Easter eggs," and I was like, "Oh shit!" It's like a hot box. Did it all come out in one box? Yeah. Wow, that's wild. Two mega packs. All right, guys. So again, we still have about another. By the time I get done with this break, about an hour and a half still left. Remember, Gilded is close. It is down to six in the RMB. You guys want to try to sell that out? Beautiful cards in that one. Oh yeah, it's like the best product this year so far. Um, it is a little pricey, but like I said, you're getting a piece of a lot of the big teams, guys. So it's it's, it's definitely worth it, especially if you get a big hit. Totally worth it. So I'm going to just go through this, like I said, just base rookies. We don't sleeve up every rookie, unfortunately, but. Just some of the bigger ones we'll sleeve up. Josh Young now in the World Series, so gonna sleeve up his stuff. So we'll just skim through it really quick. And then obviously we'll rip the mega packs after we rip all the the base packs. All right, so we got nothing fancy in here, guys. Just base cards plus base rookies. So just going to pull, like, Volpe, Corbin, Adley. Gunner. Yeah, so just those guys. Maybe Alpin. Uh, not too much anymore. This is so much that they mass produced this that. At least throw a sleeve on there. Okay. Some of the bigger ones. I wish they put colors in here, but they didn't do anything. this just... <laughs> Yeah, you can start ripping those ones. Rip right. those base ones, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. Rip, rip those base ones. And I can go through them after. How's your night coming along, Jason? It's been all right. It's just, it was a little slow to start off, but it picked up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, Thursdays can be tricky because there's like football on, and you know, now, we got now that we have basketball back and there's hockey back, and you know, a little bit of baseball still, but it's fun though. Especially like if it's like you know your favorite team's playing on Thursday, you're just like, all right, I can kind of watch it at work. Yeah, I'm actually trying to take a peek outside of what the Lakers score is. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yeah, let me put it on this game. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had it on the Amazon game, but it's over. Let's see. Let's switch this. All right, I'm going to rip all the Mega Packs just to get those ready, but we'll go through them last, guys. Since those are the better stuff. Six night. No, I don't want to connect to the internet. What channel are they? Are they playing on their own Lakers channel? Uh, it should be on ESPN. Oh, is it ESPN? Or, no, no, actually. Or TNT? TNT 245. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see it on their own channel, so I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, the Suns are here. Damn. Yeah, but you know what, trends, I mean, you, the Lions and every team's going to have one of those off games. And it's not, like the, it's not like the Ravens. You guys lost to the Ravens, right? Yeah, it's not like they're scrub team, you know? Yeah, they have they're solid. 
So I mean, I don't feel too. I mean, there's, I don't def, I don't see the Raiders winning, dog. <laughs> I think you guys will bounce back. Well, they do think of trading for uh, Travis Henry. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I mean, I expect Gibbs to do well again. He gave me really, really good fantasy points. I mean, it happens, Travis. I still think the Cowboys are decent, and, and they got destroyed by the 49ers. And then look at the 49ers two weeks in a row now. I mean, they played pretty good defenses, but still. Every, every week is a little different than the NFL for most teams. All right, so these are the Mega Packs, guys. Looking for autographs, numbered cards. And, of course, you get the exclusive Mega uh, print as well. You're a tough critic, Aaron. <laughs> I actually didn't see the game, so I, I mean, maybe I can't really speak on it. Are they in Vegas this weekend? It's on Monday, right? It's Monday Night Football? Oh, wait, no, it's in Detroit, I think, actually. Wow, I can't even remember the last time Detroit hosted a Monday Night Football game. <laughs> it's got to be years, right? It's definitely got to be a while. These ones, and then I'll get those uh, cards that Christopher's ripping open, and we'll go through those while he rips the rest of them. And then we got another case. Another case. All right. Yeah, two cases. Yeah, this is a great practice to rip packs. Yeah. It's gonna work on my speed and timing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's a little slow when they start off, so don't worry. That's okay. I didn't need to go to the gym today, so this is pretty good. Yeah. Time. Yeah. After a while, you'll, your your hands do get like carbon no. especially when you do it for a few years, like we have. Yeah. After the, if I if you rip like Bowman consistently for like a week, <laughs> my fingers just like start hurting. I would love that, Aaron. That would be amazing. But I'm not thinking about that just yet. <laughs> I'll go through these ones. So these are the base ones, guys. Getting there. <laughs> when we cracked this open, I was like, oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and you realize, oh, wait, that was a ton of packs. Yeah, it is, actually. All right, guys, so again, this is just the base. So we're just going to skim through it, pull out a couple of the bigger rookies. Got a cord in right there. All right. Sweet. I mean, I want, yeah, I mean, I want them all. <laughs> I don't know, I just, it's, this has been a little tricky year. It's been a little harder to get dubs, but I feel like the Eagles also haven't been playing well. So, I mean, it's, keeps me hopeful that when they put it together, they're going to be pretty darn legit. Oh, so you're Eagles fans. Yeah. So is Mike and Nick. That was like the first thing they asked me when I first like met them. So do you like football? Do you like the, who do you like? I was like Eagles. They're like, oh my god, we do too. I was like, yeah. And like, alright, you're hired. <laughs> I 
let's take a look at your new Alright. I think right now they are, Steve, but I I think some people will still put the 49ers in there. Um I just don't trust Purdy. I mean, obviously, you know, Jalen Hurts hasn't looked like himself this year, too. I think he's battling a little injury that people don't want to talk about or they don't want to talk about. But at the same time, I mean, you can't, you can't like, I mean, unless you're like Patrick Mahomes and doing the same thing you do every year. But, you know, you're not going to have a, the same season every year. It's going to be a little different. Obviously, teams are scheming on them now, especially, you know, after last year, how successful they were. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's about adjusting, but... Yeah, after the 49ers obviously lost this week, I think now you put them at the top. But they play each other in a few weeks again. I know, Steven. I actually won one of my big fantasy leagues because of Jordan Addison. He freaking went off when he ripped that damn freaking ball out of the defender's hand. It was awesome. Yeah, any given Sunday, any team can lose, though, so... But yeah, Steve, you said you went to the Gophers games today. How was that? I was going to text you the other day when the Kings beat down the Minnesota Wild, but I just felt bad. <laughs> Good thing you did not go to that game. Awesome. Yeah, you can, uh, if you want, grab this case and then you can start, you know, opening up those boxes too. All right. Let the good times roll. Yeah. This is the last stack here of the first case here, guys. Once I get done with this, then we'll go through the Mega Packs. Oh, man, they lost to Wisconsin tonight. Wisconsin's got to be pretty good. Golden Golfers. Last year's stack of just base cards again, guys. I know. Well, it's okay, though, because the Kings did well there, and then they came back home, and they just got smoked by the Bruins. So, it was, <laughs> was short-lived. But obviously, still early in the season, though, so... Just started a week ago. All right, almost done here, guys. Opie. Corbin. Trash bag just up oh, is that one filled up? Yeah, yeah. I can give you one right here. I have one under my feet. Awesome. If you want to take that one out, I'll, I'll, I'll take it out right now. I'll put this one in. Appreciate it. Filling it up just like that. Only chrome. Yeah, the mega boxes are like too big for what they just store like 10 packs. He's been playing for a while now, man. I mean, I guess he just still really wants to play, right? I mean. All right, awesome, guys. So here we go. This is 20 boxes worth right here of Mega Packs. And then obviously Christopher's ripping the next case, which of course will have more Mega Packs and more Base Packs. But hopefully we get some nice leverage, guys. Here we, here we go, guys. So John Seok Shim, he was like a top 10 prospect internationally for the Pirates. We got Jesus Cava. He's also a top prospect, so we'll sleeve that up. 
Sebastian Walcott, of course. Ethan Salas, the number one right there. Ryan Arias. And our first autograph is Deanne George. Autograph for the Rockies, which I believe was one of the free teams. Stephen Kendrick, there you go. Soto, Trout, throwback. Some of these are a little warped, but if you flatten them out on a top loader, it'll be fine. Ari right, Castro, you Andrew Vargas, Pinto. Got a purple coming up. Junior Camanero. Nice. That's a good prospect there. They got called up right at the end of the season at a 299. Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to uh, Francis. There's the Suze Cava again. And uh, Ilan Soto for Washington to 199. All right, Alfred Duno. We got an Ethan Salas. Gutierrez. Let's put these ones over here. I right, we got a green coming up. It is Alex Ramirez for the Mets. Oh, oh he does, oh, that's right, yeah. Well. Brady House, maybe uh, if, if Gustafson takes over, I mean, I don't know, maybe they can trade him at the deadline again. I feel like Margaret Fleur has bounced around a lot since Pittsburgh. And Gabriel Gonzalez, so Washington, Brady House is Eric. And then Mariners, this one is Stacy. So that's like three autographs already, guys. Celestin, Chavilly, Brandon Maia. And rack up on those mega box versions of some of these guys. Tamar Johnson. That is a green to 99. Let's put them over here. So these ones we're going to sleeve up, guys. LeBron! Oh, who's that guy? Who's that guy on the in Phoenix? Damn, yeah, so easy. You like the Lakers too? Yep. All, all LA teams for the most part? Uh, except for football, your squad beat me last Sunday. I'm a Dolphins fan. Okay. Oh, so you like Teddy? Yeah. I like the Dolphins. I like their team. I, lo I love Tua. I like Tua. It's, it's yeah. hard to root against him, and I'm glad he came to us. Yeah. Locklear. Yeah, I like them in college. I, I, I'm lefty, so I've always loved lefties. Nice. I always root for those guys. Locklear. That's another one for Seattle. Seattle Mayor Stacy. Brandon Maia. Yeah, growing up here in LA, there wasn't really no NFL teams here, so. No NFL teams, so we had to be like orphans. Yeah, we had like basically, yeah. So that's what I did. I, just, I got to see some Eagles football with my older brother in law. That's cool. And yeah, I just see McNabb and he just turned it around for me. I was like, damn, this oh, is my man. team right here. It was fun team. It's like McNabb those early 2000 Eagles, is what I fell in love McNabb with. McNabb and T.O. together was fun. Yeah, life. Rainer Rice. That yeah, was a great year, but a sad year. Brett Beatty. Nice iconic blue. Even like Deshaun Jackson days were fun to watch. You guys yeah, all those years were, yeah. They are, right, Steve? Yeah, the Mega Box is a really, really good uh, good product. It's pretty cheap for the most part. These boxes, I think they actually went up in value just a little bit for 60 bucks now, but they were retailing around 45 You might still be able to find it for 45 around, though. But, uh, yeah, it's some really nice stuff, and you can still get case hits like this Drew Jones. Very nice one there for the Diamondbacks for Francis. Obviously, you don't get as many autographs for the amount of boxes you get in a case, but still deliver at least like four to six, so. Yeah, and for the rookies you get in this yeah. class, it's yeah. worth the price of the James meat. Wood. So there you go, to 299. 
And Nate Furman going to the Guardians, going to DY. So I feel like that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about five autographs already. Camilo Diaz, Braley Guerrero, Francisco Alvarez, Sebastian Walcott, John Cho Kim, Mario Castro, Henry Vargas, and Adon Sanchez. To 199. Right. Two more stacks here, guys. Henry Bolt. So that's one for Oakland. Last spot mojo was Stephen Kendrick who bought that straight up. So that's autograph number six. Okay. And last one here. Ooh, we got a gold one. Miguel Blaez, he was a top prospect a few years ago. 30 out of 50. Camilo, Bradley Guerrero. And then Bradley Guerrero. Oh, actually, these are the ones I went through here. All right, let me sleeve these ones up, guys. All right, well, I'm sleeving them up. Open up that second case right now. Yeah. Of the base. Yes, we're gonna get to we're getting to the second case now, guys. So again, if you didn't hit much in this first case, it's okay. We have a second case. And on the other side, I've been hitting a lot of like good luck for everybody. Who's yeah, so maybe, so maybe get us an Ethan Salas out or something. I like to think he's I'm the big prospect. Yeah. No, I mean honestly, when you're breaking, like <laughs> there's days where like you are hot, like for us. It's like anything you open up is just like gold. And that's why I tell customers, don't stop, continue to buy, because when it dies down, it's going to go bad. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, also, um, you never know, you could have that, that case that just hits. Yep. All right. So top load these ones here. We'll put away all the numbered stuff, the sleeved up stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like I put some more over here too. I think we usually get like 10 numbered cards. Let's eat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I think we got eight on this one. Plus the Bowman Ascensions. All right, so that was the first case. Put this over her. Take this. Yeah, I'll take these in there for now. The base. Base. Alright, I'll go through this little stack here, guys, in the meantime. So this is starting case number two, guys. Case number two, 20 more boxes of Megas. Adley. Masataka Yoshida. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing there, nothing there. Alright. That's right, Eric. Hopefully we get some good ones. Volpe. I'll start ripping the Mega Packs, guys, so we can start getting those ready to roll, and then by the time I get done with them, we'll have all the base packs ready. So we'll rip them, but we won't go through them until the end. This 
is the, the, the brick that keeps on multiplying. It's like this one. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you, it. you look back and you're like, oh wait, there's another pile. Yep. And this isn't like nothing either, dude. It's like there's been crazier breaks we've done. Uh, cases on cases, dude. Like of stuff like this. Nice. Wow. I remember when I first, like, one of the first years I started working here. Well, actually, maybe like two years in. We did, um, we did Bowman baseball, which is a lot heavier than oh, this. Yeah. And we did like a 15 case break. 15 case? Yeah. It was, and then you had to sort it out by player. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it took like two weeks to do. We probably broke it like, I think we broke like three or four cases a day for like a week. And yeah, we weren't ready for like that kind of speed, but it was, it was wild. Well, just goes to show that the hockey is fantastic. Yeah. We do it for the hockey. <laughs> Dude, when that first jingle came out, all of us were singing that shit. Same. It's like literally see? the best jingle. I don't know if they get awards for that, but it's got to go like platinum, like Grammy. Um, did you ever see the, um, they actually did a spoof in a uh, remix meme to it, whereas Rihanna's at Super Bowl commercial. Really? And they put no. the DK music behind wow. it and it looked <laughs> like she was doing it. That's funny. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, it's definitely the best like fast food jingle on TV for sure. Oh yeah. They gotta have something. Like catchy. no one will ever beat that, like legit. done with this guy so yeah we'll be done in like 10 15 minutes maybe so again that should lead us right down to like 9 30 so still an hour and a half if you guys want to fill something else up plenty of time remember we did fill up that flux we filled it up uh the flux sorry and we uh we're gonna give away 10 spots in the filler guys so instead of selling 30 spots we're only selling 20 that means if you buy a spot you basically got a one in uh, three shot to get a free extra spot nice. to increase your chances of getting some teams. And I think there's 19 teams in that giveaway, so I mean, or in that filler. So, I mean, honestly, yeah. almost two thirds of you guys that buy in are gonna get a team. And those cards are beautiful. Yeah, they're really nice. So, a lot of teams in there were like 100 bucks as well. So you're only paying a fraction of what they would have cost. But winning that extra free spot is awesome because you know you get increase your chances and maybe you can win two teams now. These stacks. All right, we'll these two first. All right, here we go, guys. So this is all the base stuff. Again, we'll just skim through it. Did Teddy leave already? He left early? Yeah. He did? Okay. Yeah. I was like, damn, he's taking a really long lunch. Or I, just, <laughs> I didn't realize he left. I think he was just filling in. For like half a day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he's filling in for Chris today. To go forward, let's walk with the bear. All right, so let me just put this up here, guys. Oops, excuse me. I wish I could crank this table higher, but this one's not like the one over it's there. Not the other side, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like too tall for this table, where my back's gonna just like hurt. I'm fun size, so this is perfect. I know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You like the right size for this too. Cause like it goes up higher, it just doesn't go up that high. That's the other one. So like it's like perfect. Okay, okay. You're being down by 10. See some promise? It's just, I don't know man. I, I love Anthony Davis, but man, you just don't know what you're gonna get with him. Oh, us and LA then, fans, we're just like and then livid that he just like He just doesn't down. stay healthy either, so this is even the most frustrating part. Although last year, relatively, he did, but... My biggest problem with him is like, you're that big, you have strength, why do you always have to do a sidestep and fall to the ground? Yeah. Like, that's how you destroy your back. Like, you're always taking that impact. He's just one of those big guys that just doesn't realize he's big sometimes, and it's like, you could just literally bully people down the paint, but... You grew up in the generation of just wanting to shoot, you know? It's yeah. just like, let me do a step back, fade away, and like... I don't know, sometimes he just forgets that he's a big-ass dude. Speaking of a big dude. dude, I was actually caught off guard with the news about Dwight Howard. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did hear some of that stuff, too, yeah. Oh, oh my god, Jesus. These guys just... No, I don't know who the hell that was. Is that Bradley Beal? I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know if Beal's playing tonight. Whoever that was, you'll Maybe see right now. He, Davis. he went really ham on him right now and like just freaking ripped all, all of his hands, yeah. Show the replay. Who's your basketball team? That's another thing, I mean, I secretly like the Lakers in a sense because of, you know, LeBron, I love, I love him. Uh -huh. But when I was younger, my older sister like loved Kobe and loved the Lakers and it was which was very annoying to me as a kid, as a kid, and I don't know. I just kind of wanted to not be a Laker fan because okay. of her. So I started rooting for like the Sonics at the time, but then literally like two years later they moved oh, to so OKC. OKC. So yeah, I mean I still go OKC honestly, but that's cool. A lot of our Seattle customers hate that because they they truly hate Oklahoma City because of like everything that went down over there. But well, okay. yeah, I like OKC. Though. I've been sticking with them since, well, like I said, before Durant was even drafted. You got some promise though, because you got SGA and then you got Chet. That's right. Chet's probably one of the missing pieces for them now. Yeah. SGA is... And he's eligible for Rookie of the Year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I root for the Thunder. That's cool. I ain't mad at it. Just glad you didn't say something like, oh, the Phoenix Suns, because no. I like Kevin Durant. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't like him anymore. I did love him though he was on Thunder. So he left. Yeah. But... He leaves yeah. everyone. Yeah. And then he left Golden State, then he left Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And he'll leave Phoenix eventually. I don't know how many more years he'll really have left, though, if he does leave again. He, this has to be one of his last, like, big contracts. I think he has, like, another two or three years left on this deal, so it's like, he has to win here. This is the best team that Phoenix is going to have. What players do you guys think goes on a regression this year? Who starts declining? I, I feel like some of these guys just don't age that bad. LeBron should be regressing like massively, he's, he's, but yet he still is like the best, one of the best players, if not the best player in the league. He has nutrition and science that's yeah. backing him. I know, but still. That one million dollar program. I know, right? Every year. Like honestly, I just think people take him for granted. Like one day we're what he's doing, what he's doing is like people don't even care. Like that's the quote ever. One day we're gonna miss watching what him and Steph Curry were able to do for a long period of time. Yeah. And we'll still have a. Cool league, but it'll be like yeah, no, it'll be a lot different. Giannis. Yeah, it's a good yeah. hands, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot different. He should not. I mean, look at like, you know, Jordan and those guys. How how fast they declined at the end of their career. Yeah, this dude is still going strong. I think one of the new commercials, his wife was. I don't know if you've seen it. I think his wife was like. It's like one of those where it's like he's thinking in his head and his wife is kind of talking to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you say, like, uh, stay till you play with your son and then stay till you play with your other son. I'm uh -huh. like, damn, that's wild. If you got to that's play with... headphones commercial, yeah. Yeah, if you got to play with Bryce or something, that'd be wild. Yeah, it's not just Bronny who was waiting for uh, it was Bryce. And Bryce actually seems like he has a lot he actually, of promise. He actually might be better than Bronny. Yeah. He's like a miniature LeBron James, honestly. He's as tall as him almost already. Yeah. He looks like him even there. more. Look at Anthony Davis. He just um, falls down. All right, appreciate it. All right. All right, let's see right here. Let's continue on with the base. So again, guys, once I get done with these two stacks of base, we'll go through the mega packs.
Here, guys, what happened? I just literally got the ball. You break? No. Did they they sign Christian Wood? Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize he was on there. Nobody wanted to give him the money he wanted, so he's like, I'm gonna go to a championship team. Right. Do, 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 do. Almost here, done, guys. Let me see. A couple more rookies, maybe. That are bigger. I don't like D'Angelo also. I don't. I, I think he's this super is overrated. Crazy. Like, they're going with a two big men in LeBron and two guard lineup. When last year they would always go with a three guard lineup, four yeah. guard lineup. So they're finally going bigger at the Lakers. That's interesting. Christian Woods and 80 on the floor at the same time. Yeah. I do like 80 oh, at the so floor. Gonna... Yeah, I think he's good at the floor. There we go. Yeah, because Christian Woods more of the natural center, yeah. honestly. There we go. Oh, what a block. Oh, that's out on Davis, too. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Mega Packs. All right, DeAndre Smith for the Mets. Mets is going to Chris Parent. Camilo Diaz is a top prospect, Billy Guerrero as well. And Brooks Lee, nice one there for the Minnesota Twins. David M with that one. Adley. And we got Marcelo Mayer. Nice one there for the Red Sox. Right on. Greg with the Red Sox. To 199. On Montero. Wow, AD still can't finish. And he's trying to jab her with the Milwaukee Brewers. James, yeah, the year you guys traded for him, I was just like, man, he must have, I don't know, made a pack to the devil or something because he didn't get injured that whole year and then you guys won that chip in the bubble. I was like, he was relatively healthy for the whole year. Kevin, Iru. All right, Ethan Salas, Rainer Rice. We got Samuel Munoz. To 299. Brandon Maya, Felon Celestin, Wanipa, and Tucker Toman for the uh, Blue Jays. Going to Eric. That one stuck. Welvin, Duno. Another one, back to back. Nice one for the Blue Jays, Eric. Racking up with some Tucker Tolmans. I need to get a big prospect. I haven't got one of those yet. Junio Mejia, Brandon Maia, Brother Garias. There's a yellow coming up. Duino, first yellow. Nice. Ariel Castro is a nice one. I think he was number 13 in the top MLB international prospects. So out of 75, that's going to the Minnesota Twins. That's going to David. Guanipal's a nice one. Trio. Jordan Lawler, another one of those young Diamondbacks that they're going to have in the future. Out of 299. All right, last stack right here. We got a Michael Royal purple, which is going to 299 for the Mariners. That's Stacy, racking up on all those Mariners. Sweet. More Ethan Solace there, Rainer Arias. 
Ooh, orange. I haven't seen an orange in a while. Roderick Arias had a 25 for the Yankees. Yankees is William, primetime. Jet Williams for the Mets. Chris Parent. Constra again, Henry Vargas. She'll like it too. Galan. Blue color match for the Texas Rangers. Michael with that one. All right, last stack here, guys. I think we have one, two, three, four autos. Yeah, they're nice cards, Eric. Mega boxes are always fun. Like mm -hmm. I said, these are only 45 bucks usually. So, I mean, pretty solid. Come on, if, uh... All right, looks like only four autos in this one, but some nice colors in this one, though, so which kind of makes up for it. A lot of great prospects. Yeah. And there's some prospects who are unproven, but you just never know. They just cool. yeah. That's the one thing about prospecting that people it's just like don't realize why people do this. It's like you can just literally you buy this and then you just put it away and then let these cards sit on yeah, us for for years and then you're like, all right, let me open up and see how good these guys are now. Right? Or if you remember, like, oh man, I remember that guy. Like, that's kind of the beautiful part of this. Imagine just having like an Otani from <laughs> like 2018. Yeah, exactly. You know. I mean, it's more like people like Acuna and Osoto, those guys were like, they were first and no yeah. one knew the hell they were. Tatis when he was on the White Sox. She freaking Jordan was a Dodger. Imagine. Nobody, the Dodgers traded him. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So, again, we'll top load those later. Again, we got these ones here. One, two, three, four. But we did get some nice colors here, though. And, again, these would be top loaded as well. That orange, Castro, and Marcelo Mayer. So appreciate it, guys. Again, I'll double check if I could post more. I'm not too, too entirely sure yet, but uh, if we have more, we'll post it up on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And again, we still have some time to do some other stuff if you guys want. That Gilded is down to six. Uh, we did post up these breaks today. Select moved pretty nicely and then installed at 18, 24, 24. We just posted up that tier one uh, not too long ago. Got some football on the board. Uh, Mac and Collegiate moving down to 22, 19 left there. And like I said, we fillered up the flux. So again, you buy a spot for 40 bucks, potentially win like a Warriors team at 100. And again, get a chance to win a second free spot to increase your chances of getting some more teams. So yeah, I appreciate it guys. Thank you. Awesome.